day everybody and welcome to our channel. In today's video I'm going to share some tips on how to use the language that you have learned. Okay, so you probably already study English and learn a lot of vocabulary, grammar, you read, you watch movies, you do all of that and yet the problem, you don't know why, but it's difficult to speak, right? Now, usually the main reason for that is that you're not confident enough and this is completely normal. Why? Because speaking a language is not, speaking a foreign language is not easy. You, everybody looks at you and start thinking about who is this person or um, if, if, if you make a mistake, maybe they will think this person is not very smart, right? We are afraid of making mistakes, of being sounding stupid or looking stupid and oh and then we start stressing out <sighs> so first hmm, let's breathe and pretend to be confident let's fake it till you make it okay so this is easy to say be confident but how can i be confident it's not so easy alice so here's my advice um it's difficult to speak to people, right? Especially if they're native speakers and maybe they don't have a lot of time, they're not so patient. Okay, so first, if we don't want to speak to real people, let's first speak to ourselves. Okay, so tip number one, speak to yourself every day at any time. Because if you make a mistake, no one is here to judge you, okay? You're only, you're on your own. So, for example, you walk in your, in your apartment and you describe everything you do. So, oh, now I'm standing up and I'm sitting on the bed. The bed is comfortable. This is a, ah, what is the name of this? Hmm, I don't know the name. Let's look it up. Okay, so by doing this, first, you work on two things. Your fluency. So getting the words that are here in the grammar, the vocabulary, out there. Okay, here. <laughs> so um, maybe you know the word bed and sit and stand, but you, don't, never, you never use them in a sentence. So describing your actions will help do this. The second uh, advantage is you can identify the vocabulary that you don't have. So for example, this, I don't know the name. So I will go on a, a great, great website, which is called, um, for example, Word Reference, okay? And it's free, it's really good, and type in my language, and then look for the translation. Okay, so your homework, to find the word, the name for that thing, okay. Then, um, so speak to yourself, describe everything you do in your house, okay? And try also to think in English. So, I'm hungry, okay? And I'm thinking of what I can eat. I'm not going to think in my mother language. I'll try to think in English. So, uh, I'm gonna say, mm, I'm hungry. What can I eat today? I don't have pasta, but I have rice. So try to give as many details as possible. And again, if you don't know the word, look it up. Don't be lazy. Don't think, ah, oh, it's okay later. No, no, now you take your phone and you check for the translation. Tip number two. Okay, so this is what we call output. You produce the language. Number two, um, also try to practice with real people, but maybe uh, people that are also learning the language and have the same level. So if you're a beginner student, try to find another beginner student with whom to practice, um, even on WhatsApp. Create a group with only people that are uh, your level and practice together. Because 
in most cases, after you study, for example, at school or after you study online, listening to a lot of English, after that, you just speak your mother tongue, right? So if you're from Brazil, you will speak Portuguese with your friends and family. So try to find real people with whom to speak. And just say it's just for, it's for practice. And if we can be friends, it's good too, of course. But let's really practice as much as possible. Okay, this is the most important part because you can study in books and websites, lots of grammar, you know all the grammar, but if you never practice by yourself to build your confidence, but also with other people, you're, it's going to be hard to become fluent. So that's what we want to do. So tip number one, speak to yourself. Tip number two, speak to other people and especially students that are with you. And you're sure there's not going to be judgment or anything. Tip number three, um, also speaking, but this time recording yourself. Okay, so we're using your phone. Uh, we've made a video previously on how to improve, improve your speaking using your phone. So I really recommend you watching it. But the idea is you use your uh, voice recorder on your phone and maybe speak for maybe two to five minutes every day on a topic. So for example, today's topic is my family. So you can make notes before if you want or not. You have the ideas in your mind and you try to uh, express yourself directly to your phone. So, for example, uh, record. Um, today, I will talk about my family. I have one brother. His name is Joan, etc. And you try to speak for two to five minutes. And then you, you call it day one, family. Day two, uh, my job. Day three, my best friend. Try to do that for 10 days consecutively, uh, one day after the other, okay, non-stop, every day. And the great thing about this is you will also hear your progress. You can track your progress, okay? So all of this is about speaking. First, speak to yourself, speak to people, speak to your phone, okay? So those are three tips. Um, and also, this has, is output, okay? If you feel that... Um, you're confident, but you, you lack vocabulary or grammar, then don't forget as well input, right? So watching movies with the transcript, you can find everything online. I will put the links uh, in the description. Listen to music with lyrics, and there are beautiful websites where you can listen to the song and tap the lyrics. It's lots of fun, and you can do karaoke. It's really cool. Um, and read, 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 read. Um, Reading is excellent to develop your vocabulary bank. Um, myself, what I, what I can recommend is reading children's book, for example, and set daily realistic, uh, realistic daily objectives. So to help myself, for example, I'm using tabs like that. So every day I want to read one chapter. Um, so for example, today I'm that page and I know that uh, by tonight, I will have read this. Okay, so I set myself uh, goals and it really helps me because this is a difficult book and any book when you start reading in a foreign language can be challenging. Um, and in just reading like this without a goal is going to be difficult. So um, read with an objective of saying, I want to read five pages, it's okay. Five pages, but every day, keep it consistent and try to write any new vocabulary. Okay, write down any new vocabulary and after go on, on word reference or your translator to translate the word. And this, this way you will really improve your vocab. Okay, and um, yeah, and you're welcome as well. So we said movies, music and books. This is great for input, vocabulary, grammar, um, to improve your listening improve your reading. Um, you can also improve your writing by journaling. journaling. So every day writing a little entry. Today I did this. Today um, I did that. Um, and tomorrow I'll do this. Anything that you want to write, go for it. Um, so here it is, how to improve, 
to really uh, use the language that you learn. I really insist speaking is in, in order to be better at speaking, the only secret is to actually speak. There's no other secret. So go for it. Speak to yourself, speak to friends, speak to your phone and record yourself. Um, and don't be too hard on yourself. Learning a language is, is hard. For me, it's, it's like playing a in musical instrument in front of people, you know? It's something sometimes you want to keep private, but no, speaking, we want to communicate. So don't worry about making mistakes. It's part of the learning process. We need mistakes and learn from them so that we don't make them again. So don't worry, go for it. Speak, don't worry about mistakes, that's fun. People will just smile because it's cute, okay? Mistakes are really cute, don't worry. And yeah, let me know if this helps. Um, if you enjoyed the video, click on the like button. If you love the video, subscribe to our channel, write a little comment if you have any questions or if you wanna give me feedback on those tips. And again, you got this stress yourself and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye for now.